This is propen, buten, penten, hexen. This is hexen. Now, this is cyclohexen. Now, this is benzene. One hydrogen is replaced by this group. Now, this is phenyl acetate. Phenyl acetate undergoes rearrangement reaction in presence of dry aluminium chloride on heating which is known as Fries rearrangement reaction. This is named after German chemist Carl Theophil Fries. In this lesson we are going to learn Fries rearrangement reaction of phenyl acetate. So let's begin. Fries rearrangement reaction of phenyl acetate. This is phenyl acetate. Phenyl acetate is treated with anhydrous aluminum chloride or dry aluminum chloride. Then the reaction is heated. As a consequence, phenyl acetate undergoes a rearrangement to form this compounds hydroxyl group at ortho position acetyl group this is ortho hydroxy acetophenol or ortho acetyl phenol another compound is formed that is Hydroxyl group at para position acetyl group. This is para acetyl phenol or para hydroxy acetophenol. Here, in presence of Lewis acid, strong Lewis acid and hydrous aluminium chloride, these oxygen carbon bond undergoes a heterolytic fusion like this oxygen becomes negatively charged carbon becomes positively charged this portion acts as electrophile this electrophile is formed with the help of lewis acid and hydrous aluminum chloride this electrophile is formed We know these positions carry one hydrogen atom each. Ortho position, this hydrogen, para position, this hydrogen. When this electrophile attacks ortho position, then this is formed ortho hydroxy acetophenone, and this hydrogen gets freed as electrophile. This electrophile combines with this oxygen. Again, when this electrophile attacks para position, at that time this hydrogen gets freed as proton. This proton combines with this oxygen. As a consequence, this is formed. Para hydroxy acetophenone is formed. Here, this electrophile bonds to this carbon at the same time from this carbon hydrogen gets freed as electrophile that is internal electrophilic substitution occurs in Fries rearrangement reaction 
phenyl acetate undergoes phase rearrangement reaction to form orthohydroxyacetophenone and parahydroxyacetophenone or orthoacetylphenol or paraacetylphenol here this is major product and this one is minor product this is major product why in this case steric hindrance is the least but here orthohydroxy acetophenone undergoes steric hindrance between these two groups that is why it cannot form in large quantities it forms in a small quantities but other one due to the less steric hindrance that one can form in large quantities that is why this is major product this is minor product now let us see the probable mechanism of the reaction mechanism of fries rearrangement reaction phenyl acetate that reacts with anhydrous aluminium chloride on heating rearrangement proceeds anhydrous aluminium chloride is a strong lewis acid around aluminium six electrons are present so aluminium is not octet fulfilled that is why oxygen can form coordinate covalent bond with its lone pair of electrons as a result this is formed over aluminium negative charge develops over oxygen positive charge because here oxygen donated its one pair of electrons to aluminium now this one undergoes dissociation in this way oxygen carbon bond suffers heterolytic fission as a result this is formed oxygen aluminium three chlorine atoms plus electrophile is formed from this reaction this is step number 1 step 2 here aluminium carries negative charge step 2 because of this negative charge over aluminium and oxygen is highly electronegative atom that is why this bond oxygen aluminium bond suffers heterolytic fission as a consequence this is formed minus aluminium chloride phenoxide ion is formed in presence of lewis acid and hydrous aluminium chloride step 3 this electrophile will attack ortho position another electrophile will attack para position because 
this is electronically rich phenoxide ion it acts as electron donating group as a result ortho positions and para position become electronically rich so electrophile will attack ortho positions and para position at the same time from ortho position this hydrogen gets freed as proton that combines with this oxygen at the same time from para position this hydrogen gets freed as proton and combines with this oxide ion to form two compounds one is this oxygen this hydrogen electrophile bonds to this ortho position to form this one ortho acetyl phenol or ortho hydroxy acetophenol another compound when electrophile attacks para position then oxygen with this oxygen this hydrogen at para position acetyl group this is formed para acetyl phenol or para hydroxy acetophenol this is probable mechanism of phase rearrangement reaction in which internal electrophilic substitution occurs this is all about phase rearrangement reaction over today thank you very much